I want to come together in prayer with whoever is watching across the screen. And I want to ask Lord Jesus that. And girl, my feet gonna look like I just got straight out of the salon. Okay, girl. So this is what I use to do my toes. Ooh girl i feel so good my feet are done and i know not everybody has like the attention span like that because of tiktok never give others the power to determine your worth or how you feel about yourself if you don't understand what i just said let's talk about it oh girl this is brushing through so nicely as well as my why do i make this face every single time i wash my eyelashes oh why do i keep dropping everything today go ahead and moisturize my legs right now girl this is so pretty oh my gosh i am so excited do you want me to put you some separate in a separate like with a cap on it or something yeah, yeah you can do that for okay oh i don't want to tell you all about this please don't judge me but i bought summer's eve my hair is definitely starting to get like a little bit more volume as it air dries this is probably the worst way I could have started off this video because the angle, I think we all know my toilet is right here. I'm sitting on my toilet, but I'm soaking my feet right now. I can promise you I am not using the restroom. I'm soaking my feet, girl, because I'm getting ready to go ahead and do a little at home DIY pedicure. So I'm soaking them so my dry skin on my feet can soften up so I can scrub all of that crap off and girl, get my feet back to square one. Okay, but um, I don't even know if that makes sense. Anyways. This is last minute. So my plan today was to use today to reset because girl, this past week has been rough. I've been on my menstrual cycle and I'm not sure if you know or not, but I've been telling y'all in my vlogs like how difficult my periods are nowadays. Like I can't even explain to you how much different they are. But one of the things that I really cannot stand is how tired I am on my menstrual cycle. I think that's definitely what bugs me the most is how tired I am. Oh, what I was saying was that was my plan today. Just get up and take care of myself. And I just put my feet in this basin and I was like, wait a minute. I should turn on the camera and be my girls with me and make it like a vlog because it's not going to be like super organized with voiceovers. It's going to be just like me talking to you, bring you guys along. We can chit chat and girl do it all. So I'm bringing y'all along with me and I hope you guys enjoy my little pamper day because I was going to spit it by myself, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to bring my girls with me. So if you have the time and you want to go ahead and do some pampering during this video, girl, I encourage you to, whether it's just putting on a face mask uh, putting a hair mask in. girl I don't care what it is whatever it is you can turn this video on and girl we can talk as I pamper myself but I usually soak my feet for 10 minutes and they have definitely been in here for over 10 minutes girl and if I'm being honest y'all I don't take care of my feet as much as I used to and I want to get back into my foot care so I'm about to go ahead and do my little foot care routine which really is just scrubbing them with a scrub brush making sure that they are thoroughly clean and then exfoliating them with the world's best pumice stone that's literally what it's called everything will be linked down below in my amazon storefront in the foot care section <clears throat> okay sorry had to get materials let's get started girl look we are not gonna talk about my legs i'm gonna shave them today that's why we're not worried about it right that's why we're not worried about it now listen, I'm going to clean my feet with this into the night shower gel as well as my foot scrubbing brush, girl. I get these in like a little variety pack on Amazon and these are so amazing. So anyways, get it in there and put it on there like toothpaste. All right. And girl, I just scrub them up real good. I got to go in tiny circular motions because I don't want the soap flying everywhere and getting on my camera lens. But I just really mainly focus on my toenails and underneath my toenails because y'all know especially with the big toe underneath your toenail it can smell really bad some people call it toe jam i don't really have a name for it but it's just like that gross stuff that grows underneath your toenail and it smells so gross so i really encourage you guys to wash your feet at least twice a week like i told y'all i've been slacking uh, so I've just been like using my washcloth, but I really do suggest using a scrub brush. It makes the biggest difference, you guys. Your toenails won't look all yellow and gross.
gross if you take care of them and girl keep them clean now the thing with these scrub brushes is y'all know i used to scrub the top of my foot with it but the top of your foot that skin is way too sensitive so i really don't suggest using this on the top of your foot when i do it it's really sensitive and it's also extremely itchy so i just keep it simple just do the toes and do the bottom of the foot same thing with the other foot and girl your feet gonna smell so good they're gonna be so soft when you get done using that pumice stone then i'll put my little press on toenails on and girl my feet gonna look like i just got straight out of the salon okay and soaking them also helps with that nasty smell underneath your toenails. Now I'm going to go in with my pumice stone. This is called the world's best pumice stone. It's got a real hard side and a soft side. You're meant to use both of them. So first you go in with the hard side and then you go in with the soft side. This exfoliates. This buffs. So this gets rid of all the hard, dead skin, calluses and stuff like that. And this smooths it out to make your feet feel like babies. Like baby feet. What I always do is I get it wet. These pumice stones can last you for months on months on months if you make sure that you're cleaning them with your scrub brush. All right, but I usually put soap on this thing, y'all. You don't have to. There's times where I don't, but there's times where I do. Today I'm being a little extra. And I just go in first with the green side and I get all the hard skin off my foot because trust and believe, these heels are in need of some love. I'll tell you that right now, cause girl, I have not been exfoliating my feet. Now you don't want to overdo it, especially if you live somewhere hot. Because when you go outside to like a water park or something like that and you get your feet on that sand or that cement, ooh girl, it's going to burn so bad. So you don't want to overdo it. And you also don't want to overdo it to where you break your skin. Because let me tell you something, I did that one time. Oh my gosh, who took me a while to recover. My feet hurt, girl. I had a whole like chunk of skin taken out my heel. Can't mess around, y'all. Can't mess around. So don't overdo it because it's very easy to. And I'm going to tell you guys the places where I target on my feet. I target the heel, the big toe right here, and then right here. This little part underneath my pinky toe gets hard. So those are the places that I really target because those are the harder places on my feet. Now, once I get done targeting all those areas and they're soft, then I just quickly run over my entire foot with the green side, just real fast. Just quickly go over it. Go over your toes real fast. They don't really need it too much because overall my feet aren't um, that hard. And then I put them back in the water, rinse it off, and I go over all those parts with the white part, the white buffing part, and I buff all those areas out. And oh my gosh, girl, my feet feel so good. Stop playing. This is my favorite part when I get to buff it out with the white part because your feet, oh my gosh, they're gonna feel so incomplete if you don't do this part. Girl, I'm just, I'm just gripping this thing with my toes. Ooh, good lord. And girl, my feet are baby soft, no lie. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat it to the other foot. Okay, girl, so this is what I use to do my toes. I have a file because I always have to pre-shape the big toenails because these are not my toenail shapes. So I have to like file them into my actual toenail shape. I have a sterile alcohol prep wipe to go ahead and dry out my toenails so the nails will actually stick. I have a buffer to go ahead and buff my nails so once again the nails can stick. And then I have my favorite nail glue to of course go ahead and stick these to my feet. But I wanted to make it comfortable so I put this cute little cover I got from Victoria's Secret Pink and it's super comfortable you guys. I put this down and it's got like cushion low key like it's like cushioned. Put it down so I could be comfortable while I do my feet. And like I told you guys recently, the reason why I haven't gotten a pedicure is because I'm waiting for um, some of my toenails to grow out because I like for them to be like a certain length when I get them done. But mainly I'm waiting for like my two big toenails to grow out a little bit more because I always get acrylic on my big toes. Just because it looks so much more like clean and neat and even it just looks really good but they have to be like a certain length in order for you to get the acrylic put on because it makes it a lot difficult for them to actually stick if your toenails are too short 
and my toenails are a little too short right now but I'll give them up like about a week and they'll be perfect and you want to make sure that you get them shaped to your actual toenails because it's easier for them to fall off if you don't so I got them all dried out now I know the usual way that people do it is they buff and then they put the alcohol but I like to put the alcohol and then buff because like the dust that comes from buffing just makes it stick a lot better like in my world I don't know but I will be getting my nails done in like the next couple of days because they are in need of being done girl I just didn't want to go yesterday or today because girl it's the weekend and the nail salon that I go to is jam-packed on the weekends and there's literally no parking my mom and I had to run in the rain last time you guys it was literally traumatizing I debated for a little while like whether or not I wanted to put these toenails on but honestly I'm doing it because I don't want my feet to look crazy during the shower scenes because y'all be seeing my feet like up close and I'm sorry I'm saying and I don't want my feet to look crazy so I'm just gonna go through with doing the press on because you ain't gonna catch me slipping even though y'all already did earlier when I was doing my feet but it's gonna be what it's gonna be that looks pretty darn good oh hold on I think I kind of put it on there crooked see I'm already screwing up see I ain't got time for this and then I always just shape the top of it where the actual like like French white line is you have to file it period because of that little tab that's up there when you take it off there's still like that little tab part but I also shape them to make them look just more natural so when I find a perfect size toenail I go and find the other one in the exact same size like this one is a size 9 so I have to find the other size 9 and what I do is once I find the other matching toenail I put them down in a row and it makes it so much easier while I'm doing the toenails to just pick them up and know exactly which one to use so I found the matching one so I'm gonna put those to the side you see what I'm saying so I have like two of each size so it's super easy just to do both feet and just throw those sizes on and I already know which one to put it on because they're in a row and you literally have to hold down the toenail for a long time so this process is a little bit like time consuming but just to make sure that they actually last you have to hold them down for a good amount of time like a minute each so it's pretty time consuming not gonna lie I was listening to a song recently and in the song, the guy said, Lord, fill me with your thoughts for me. And when he said that, oh my gosh, did I instantly say, I am going to add that to my prayers. And I want to encourage you to also add that to your prayers. Like, let's just do it right now. Let's just ask Jesus. Lord Jesus, we come together in prayer right now. You say when two or more are gathered, you are there. I want to come together in prayer with whoever is watching across the screen. And I want to ask Lord Jesus that if you are not already, become the Lord and Savior. And please fill us with your thoughts for us. Fill me with your thoughts for me. And you repeat that. Don't know how I forgot to end off the prayer, but in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. That is going to be the game changer in your life in your confidence, in every aspect of your life. If we begin to think and talk to ourselves how God thinks and talks to us, you know how far we would all go in life? See, the problem is a lot of people have a poor understanding of how God thinks about them and how much God loves them and the thoughts that he thinks towards them. Because if we thought about ourselves, how God thinks about us, we would be capable of everything. We could do everything because our confidence would be there. Notice how the devil targets our confidence, our self-esteem. Because when you are confident and secure in who you are in Christ and what you're doing in life, what can stop you? What can stop you? Now, a lot of people ain't gonna wanna hear this, but it's facts. A person that doesn't even know Jesus can accomplish so much more if they're confident than even a Christian with no confidence. Even though it may be self-confidence and not confidence in Christ, it takes them places. I can only imagine where you would go if you stop listening to the devil's lies and you stop listening to the insecurities that he tries to pump in your mind and you decide today to believe what the word of God says about you. Confidence in Christ, confidence in who we are in Christ can conquer the spirit of doubt 
the spirit of fear, the root of rejection, the list can literally just keep going on and on and on. So we should really start including that in our prayers. Lord Jesus, please fill me with your thoughts for me, Lord Jesus. Help me to feel about myself how you feel about me, Lord Jesus, because we can conquer so much more that way. And the thing with the devil and his minions, you guys, is that they have many different tactics and tricks that they use depending on the person. And there are many different ways that they target our confidence and make us insecure. It could be from sending the wrong guy into your life and him being abused. Had to block that out because YouTube's different, but I think you get what I'm saying. Him being toxic towards you, speaking down on you. And in reality, when guys do that, when they are talking about your looks and they're trying to bring you down, it's really because they're insecure. And if they can project how they feel about themselves onto you, then maybe they can get you not to leave them because now you're insecure thinking that they're the only person that's ever gonna love you. It's a trick of the devil. That's the way they can make you insecure. They can also make you insecure by tempting you to sin and then when you're done doing it, they play you and mock you and say, God doesn't love you anymore. And when you don't even feel like God loves you, there's no way you can love yourself. They can use parents to degrade you and make you feel terrible about yourself your entire life. They can use people They it's, there's countless things that have played into the insecurities of people and it's all the trick of the enemy and the problem is is majority of us are blindfolded majority of us have dreams we have goals we want to do these things but mm, the devil talks us out of them makes us believe that it's not even possible how is that gonna happen well that ain't what god says because god's not limited this is all his he can make absolutely anything possible for his baby. And I'm really enjoying myself today, you guys. Already, I'm having such a good time. Just really just taking my time and staying in the moment has really helped me to enjoy life, you guys. It's helped my mental health. Just staying present and staying in the moment. Like, unfortunately, I do have a tendency to kind of like rush everything and like go, 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 go. And think about everything else when I should be thinking about the one thing that I'm focusing on. And it just makes everything so annoying and just so like so much more stressful like it just makes life that much worse when you're always on the go 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 and you're trying to just get everything done as fast as possible no i'm really trying my hardest not to live like that anymore because it has caused me so much stress in my life and it has really ruined a lot of good moments for me that i really just couldn't enjoy we have to focus on right now we have to focus on the moment and stay present in the moment and when we get there we'll deal with that but right now we don't have the grace and we don't have the anointing to deal with that we only have the grace and anointing to deal with right now and the devil knows that if he can get us to just like go 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 and he can get us to never have time for jesus and never have time to reflect that's why the world is so big on hustle 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 grind 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 hustle 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 ain't nothing wrong with working ain't nothing wrong with providing ain't nothing wrong with that the bible talks about labor the bible talks about hard workers the bible talks about that it's a sin to be lazy but there's a balance you can't just go 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 24 7 and think that it's going to work out for you you're going to have burnout you might end up being a whole different person that you never intended to ever be in a bad way because you never had time for yourself. You never had time to reflect. You never had time to speak to the Lord Jesus Christ, figure out what you're actually supposed to be doing, how you're actually supposed to be treating people. If you're on a go, 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 you don't have to think about a lot of the things that are going on or things that you've even done yourself. Ooh, girl, I feel so good. My feet are done, but they need some lotion. I'm not gonna lie because uh, they be looking real crusty when I get done washing them. Don't put no lotion on. Girl, uh-uh. Let me at least moisturize them at the top. Okay, girl. My feet are done. I'm about to go ahead and show y'all. And then we're going to hop into hair care, skin care, body care, girl, all of that. And you know what's crazy is another thing that I've done so many times, which is so stupid, is like I'll plan like a relaxed pamper day for myself and then I'll try to like rush through that as well defeats the entire purpose the devil tries to steal everything from us every good thing he wants to steal from us like let's say you work a lot and you take one day off of course he's gonna try to make you feel guilty about taking that one day off because he knows that that's what you need to keep going and so of course he's gonna drill you and give you anxiety because you're supposed to be doing this 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 this, this and that no, you're not. He wants us to be busybodies. So, like I said, 
we won't have time for Jesus. So I did the best I could to go ahead and like file them all to make them all look the closest to like a salon pedicure as I could. And they look good y'all. They look good, especially if I threw some sandals on, even though it's showy sandal season. Uh, but if I did, girl, it would look like I got my feet done. Like I'm not gonna lie, it looks really cute. Mm -hmm. It has to be literally only my real OGs that watch videos like these cause girl, it's a lot of talking. And I know not everybody has like the attention span like that because of TikTok. Kids can't even focus in school. Let's watch our morning CBN news. Can you make that into a short, please, actually? I don't know where I'm going with that. Anyways, next, let's get into hair care. And as we do hair care, I have another topic because like I randomly will be doing something and I'll just, did I tell you guys? I woke up with this red mark on my face and it won't go away. Did I tell you? Not really short. Ooh. I will be doing something and then randomly something will pop into my mind and honestly I believe most of the time it is Jesus giving me topics to speak on for you guys because I'll just put them straight down into my notes as a topic that I want to speak on in my videos. I was actually driving the other day when this came to me so I wrote it down. But for my hair I'm going to be using my same old same old pre-poo. There is a little bit of amla oil in there that's why it's like green um, but it's not much. It's just like what happened was, y'all remember when I did that pre-poo recently with the amla oil? Well, I had leftovers. So I just added it to the rest of my pre-poo and mixed it around. So there is like a little bit of amla oil in there, which I'm not mad about because it does smell funny, but my hair looked really good. But I wrote down, never give others the power to determine your worth or how you feel about yourself. Let me say that again. Never give others the power to determine your worth or how you feel about yourself. If you don't understand what I just said, let's talk about it. Have you ever, cause girl, I know I have, had somebody say some mean things to you and now you feel bad about yourself and now you're talking badly to yourself and now you feel some kind of way about yourself? Don't mind the notification. Oh, they're giving out free salt to people. Free salt and sand. And you start feeling bad about yourself. You start feeling like worthless and stuff like that. You have given that person the power to determine your worth and how you feel about yourself. Whether it be the person that you're in a relationship with, whether it be your ex, your parents, I don't care who it is, a hater online, you give them the power when you allow them to control how you feel about yourself and determine your worth. You get what I'm saying? Like feeling all insecure and feeling like you're not worth anything because of what somebody else said. Let's open up the book of truth and let's see what God Almighty says about me. He thinks about me more than the grains of sands that cover a beach. I'm pretty sure that's what it said. It says some along the lines. Here goes the scripture right here. So I don't sound crazy. That ain't how he thinking about me. So next. So when the devil tries it and he uses somebody to talk to you crazy. I recently had a situation where it was just like some mean thing said. And I noticed that I started to like feel bad about myself. And I started to be like really down. And God was like, you're giving them power to control you, your emotions, how you feel about yourself, your self-worth by pondering on what they said, believing what they said, trying to justify. Girl, get out of here. Talk to the Lord instantly and watch what he says to you. Oh, girl, this is brushing through so nicely. Y'all see how long it's getting. Ooh, it's brushing through so nicely, y'all. I love this pre-poo. It's already on my Amazon storefront. I use this very consistently, you guys, and I love it. My hair always looks amazing. And then when I mix the amla oil in with it, girl, oh yeah. Hold up, because let me tell you. Today I'm going to go ahead and try out this new Diva Curl Diffuser. I've heard so many good reviews about this curl diffuser, and I'm so excited to go ahead and use it. I literally have read the instructions a million times just to make sure that I'm going to do it right. So I'm really excited because like years back, I bought a diffuser on Amazon and it was the biggest fail of my life. It is like one of the main things I regret ever, ever purchasing and it just didn't really work out. It was cheap, honestly. Um, so it either didn't work or I didn't know how to use it. So anyways, long gone now. So we're going to go ahead and try out the Diva Curl one which I'm so excited about because girl, who doesn't love the voluminous curls? Like who doesn't love volume? Like I'm telling you. So I cannot wait to see how my hair is going to look once I get done using that. Now the thing is, is it, it most likely will be a fail. 
just because like the first time I ever use stuff like it always turns out to be a fail so it might be a fail but every single time that I use it I will be getting closer to being a master and I want to master it before the summertime because I really want to use that bad boy this summer to make not this summer next summer to make my hair look popping okay and it's getting longer and longer so imagine long voluminous hair girl I'm so excited I am so excited patience girl patience because i have had so much patience with my hair this past like what year year and a half and girl my hair is finally coming around it's getting the length the health is there i am like 90 percent my all natural color i just have some more lightness down here that i will be getting rid of in like the next maybe like two months y'all know i've been focusing on growing it instead of cutting it because y'all know i was cutting it like every two to three months and then i was just like never seeing any length so i want to see some length and then i'll cut it i cut it back in july my mom cut it back in july she's a cosmetologist cosmetologist she cut it back in july and girl it's way longer than it was even before she cut it like i'm doing good y'all consistency and patience and that applies to like almost everything consistency and patience i try to get a good amount of this stuff on my scalp because girl that's what's gonna make sure my hair is growing and I'm gonna actually try to let this sit a lot longer than I did last time because usually what I do is I put this stuff in my hair and then I wash my face put a face mask on instantly hop in the shower and start washing my hair so I'm actually gonna go ahead let this sit for like 10 to 15 minutes I'm probably gonna throw something in my belly real fast I know we have some leftover baked spaghetti because my mom made some baked spaghetti last night so I'm gonna go eat some real fast and then I'm gonna get back to y'all and then we'll get started on skincare girl my skin girl this menstrual cycle broke a sister out all over my dang face it's finally starting to like go down but yesterday girl it was a tough day i'm like no i did not just wake up like this like i had pimples literally everywhere and then today i woke up with this red mark and it won't go anywhere girl i don't know what's going on but i'm gonna go ahead and get some food because i'm feeling a little sick okay girl i ate i am feeling a lot better i put my little headband on now i'm about to go ahead and get started cleaning my face as well as my as well as my lashes i just poked the crap out of the inside of my eye what the heck was i thinking but i'm gonna go ahead and wash my lashes first i usually always wash my lashes first and i just get my lash shampoo i put it in the cap and then i get my lash brush i have this lash brush on my amazon storefront i'll also link a good lash shampoo on my amazon storefront and then i just use that foam and i just clean my lashes and when i tell you guys this is the best lash cleaning brush it's almost like an eyeshadow brush so honestly if you have a clean eyeshadow brush you can also clean your lashes with your eyeshadow brush um but this is not it's an actual like eyelash cleaning brush and it comes in a three pack on amazon and girl it's the best brush i have ever found washing your lashes is very important for retention so your lashes will last a lot longer if you wash them and i'm not gonna lie i haven't washed them in the last couple of days so sometimes i really just be forgetting to wash my eyelashes and i don't know how but i just do and you could get the lash rinsing bottle where you just like squeeze it and it all runs down but i just do it like this i get all the soap out of the lash cleaning brush and then over the sink i use the water and it dabs out all of the soap and i just kind of like repeat that a couple times and it gets all of that soap out of my lashes but i do this over the sink so i don't ever really need a paper towel but and then they're clean that way and i use paper towel just to go ahead and dab them i've heard a lot of lash tech saying like don't use paper towel and stuff like that for your eyelashes only use like a regular washcloth or towel like a dry one but I actually say use a paper towel because it's not like tissue to where it just breaks apart and it goes in your lashes, which is usually what lash techs are scared of. But paper towel, girl, it don't go on my lashes, especially if, if all you do is dab. So I put it underneath the lashes and I blink on it and then I go on top of it and I dry it that way. And then I get my little spoolie and brush it out. And then I repeat on the next eye, cleaning it just like that. My lashes are getting ready to be done. I actually had an appointment tomorrow, but since I decided to bring you guys along with me um, on my pamper day, I want to start editing tomorrow. So I rescheduled it and I'll have my lashes done like the next three days. But I'll go ahead and wash this one the same exact way that I washed the other eye. And then I'll wash my face. And then once I'm done, I'll bring out my eyelash fan and I will, um, why do I make this face every single time I wash my eyelashes? 
and I will dry them and get them back to fluffy and looking good. And like literally your lashes look so good when you wash them and you dry them. And the longer your lashes are, the more maintenance has to be done. My lash tech, my new lash tech y'all, that's my girl. She knows how to do some lashes. I ain't even gonna play. She, ooh, her work is out of this world, but she goes up to 25 millimeters. Right now I'm at a 19. I wanna go up to 20, which I plan on going up to 20 in like the next couple sets. Right now I'm at a 19, which is my highest millimeters. And when I asked her to do that, when I first came in, she was like, wait a minute, you wanna get them that long? I said, yeah, girl, I've been getting them that long for like years. She was like, okay, now listen, I try to tell people when getting these long lashes, like it takes a lot more maintenance. First of all, you have to come in every two weeks for your fill. Second of all, they really have to be maintained right. And I was like, girl, I already know that. So every time I come in, she's like, yeah, your lashes last really good. Cause girl, I take care of them. Like I know how to take care of my long lashes. So she don't have a problem with me wanting to go up in length. She just was like nervous because not everybody takes care of them well. And they might try to blame her for their lashes falling out fast or, you know, certain things happening. And then she also said, let me start washing my face. Since I'm breaking out, I'm going to use my CeraVe salicylic acid cleaner. She also said that when she does long lashes, it's harder for her to make them look the same every time. And I was like, no, girl, I understand that. I've never really had like two sets of lashes that were the exact same. But I'm not going to lie, she be making them about the same. So yeah, longer lashes takes a lot more work, but I ain't mad at it. I love my long lashes. I'm sorry, I have the face for it. Like long lashes don't look bad on me. So I could go up to a 20, which is not really much different than these and it ain't gonna look bad. I can feel how bumpy my forehead is right now. Like, ooh, now that my face is clean, I can go ahead and start drying my lashes. I also have this fan on my storefront, my Amazon storefront. This thing is awesome. It is my favorite lash fan. And I just keep brushing them as I dry them. As I'm drying them, I go up, down. And the reason why washing and drying your lashes uh, makes them last longer is because our natural oils produce on our eyes and whether it be our natural oils, moisturizers, makeup, whatever it is, it has moisture and oil in it and that messes with the glue. So your lashes fall out faster. Whereas if they're clean and they're dry, the glue won't have an issue, so it'll stick. So low key, you'll save money if you keep up with your eyelashes, so. Anyways, I'm sure these are not 100% dry, but they will dry very soon. Um, and they look so much better already this one i had like a lot of lashes come out in my inner corner but let's go ahead and put a face mask on the same old same old face mask if you guys have any like face mask recommendations girl let me know what to scratch the crap out of myself great but i've just been using this one like once or twice a week um same old same old you guys it's the origins retexturizing mask with rose clay i like this one because it makes my skin feel so soft dang girl that crap really did scratch me oh my gosh them junks be dangerous on the sides y'all that junk is sharp and i always just apply this mask by hand it's easy that way and honestly i've always left my masks on longer than the instructions say like i keep it on throughout my entire shower until the end and i rinse it off but I always do that as long as it's not like an exfoliating mask because of course you don't want to like over exfoliate your skin. So if you know that that face mask has any kind of acid, exfoliant, BHA, AHA, girl, I don't, look, don't do it. But if it's something like a moisture mask or something like this that doesn't have any kind of exfoliator, the only thing that's like exfoliating in this mask is there are like little beads in the mask, but they don't really exfoliate your skin, honestly. Um, so yeah, I can leave this one on for a good amount of time, but if it's something like a salicylic acid mask, if it's something like a Paula's Choice BHA or the Drunk Elephant BHA, and so like, like, girl, no, don't do that. Just listen to the instructions. Oh, why do I keep dropping everything today? Earlier, I dropped this dang deodorant, which used to be my top favorite deodorant, y'all. This Dove powder one smells so good but i always have to take long breaks from it because my underarms get used to it and they start to smell musty with it but if i give it a break and i kick back in with it it works perfectly fine so i have to like take breaks and i have to like switch out my deodorants a lot but the only deodorant you don't have to switch out is lumi lumi you literally do not ever have to switch out your deodorant because it's just that freaking good but 
I'm back using this, y'all. Every time I lifted up my underarms yesterday, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I just love smelling good. And I love smelling good. Like, I know that's like probably like a question like a lot of people ask me, like, why are you so obsessed with smelling good? And if I'm gonna be completely honest, it's because for so long, I was not in control of my own body odor and it bugged me and bothered me so bad. It made me so insecure, you guys. Like I literally struggled so bad. I just wanted to learn how to prevent the odor. And also, how do I get myself to smell good all day? So I just constantly worked on it, worked on it, worked on it until I perfected it. And I just love smelling good. Like good smells make me so happy and bad smells make me so annoyed and like mad. So I hope that answered your question. I know I like went wrong. I don't like not being in control of something, something like body odor. And so I perfected my hygiene and now like I don't have any issues. Like I know how to handle absolutely everything. And plus girl, who don't wanna smell good? Like smelling good makes me feel so good. And I always just feel like extra confident when I smell good. But girl, I'm about to go ahead and hop up in this shower and we are gonna go ahead and get our smell goods going, girl. So today I decided to use all into the night scented products by Bath and Body Works. Girl, I'm talking shampoo, conditioner, body wash, body scrub, body lotion, body spray, perfume. Like I am going in with the into the night scented products today, you guys. I am layering it like never before. Literally the only products that are not in that scent is my shave cream and of course my feminine wash i just thought i'd pop in real fast and let you guys know that just in case you were wondering but i'm gonna go ahead and head out i'm not gonna be doing any voiceovers for these shower scenes this time
Okay, girl. I feel so good right now, you guys. My entire body is so soft from my hair to my skin to my body, my feet, my hands. Like, I feel so soft all over. I feel so amazing. I could honestly knock out right now. That's how amazing I feel. So I went ahead and moisturized everything but my legs. So I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my legs right now, girl. My dang legs feel like silk like oh my gosh I love days like this where I'm able to target like everywhere on my body and get it super smooth it's like one of the best feelings in the world and yes I do have shorts on and girl one fact about into the night by Bath and Body Works is that it is definitely one of their top longest lasting fragrances out of like all of them like if I had to pick a fragrance that literally lasts all day by Bath and Body Works it would be into the night and I believe it's because it's got all those deep notes raspberry noir amber crystals velvety rose petals creamy patchouli mocha musk like that's definitely why because usually like the deeper gourmand um kind of fragrances they just last so much longer so yeah this girl smell it and if you like it you gotta get it because it's an amazing investment because it lasts so freaking long and especially if you layer it Girl, stop playing. Why do you think I got everything in this scent into the night? Why do you think? I didn't have to go shopping for this stuff today. I already had it because I love it. All right, then I'm going to spray my body down with the body spray. And I'm very, very, very generous when it comes down to, like, body spray. Just because, like, you know, body spray, it just fades. And I don't want it to fade. So I spray a lot of body spray. And then this right here. They discontinued this. And I've been literally savoring this bottle for like the last what year year and a half this was originally like 50 bucks but since they discontinued it jordan paid a hundred dollars for this on amazon and oh my gosh i'm like sad to even use it because like i'll never have one again but he was so sweet for doing that okay i'm done i'm being sparing i'm sorry i love that dang perfume i remember when they came out with it they had buy three get three free and you know what i did i bought three and got three free and the person that i went shopping with that day she was like you think you can like throw me one of those i was like i was already planning on it girl you good let me tell you something the more you give in life and the more you do for others it's just gonna come right back around and god's gonna bless you it just works that way it's like the rule of life you have to give to receive facts are facts y'all so it's like Look, a lot of people, they be thinking they're going to do this and they're going to do that. They'll tell you just to hear themselves talk. I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that when I get money. And then when they get money, it gets too good to them. And they like, but what could I do for myself with this? See, bro, look, it's still red right there. Like, I don't know what's going on. And they don't never end up doing what they say they're going to do. And then my mom also taught me growing up that like, wait a minute. I don't think I completely rinsed my hair out. Oh well, I'm not getting back in that freaking shower. As you guys know, when I film shower videos or like shower scenes, it gets freezing cold. So there's no hot water right now. So I'm not rinsing my hair because screw it, it ain't that much in there. But one thing my mama taught me is that if you have something, but you know somebody else wants it more and will use it more, just give it to them. When I was younger, I was like, no, like, why would I do that? Like, are you joking? But now that I'm older, I see what she was saying. But I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my hair and then begin using the diffuser oh my gosh it's like i'm so excited but i'm also so so nervous and i'm also like how long will it take for me to diffuse my hair like you know what i'm saying like how long is this thing gonna take because i've seen people that like 80 percent dry it with the diffuser and then they let the rest of it like air dry so i might do that but we'll see i just wanted to turn out really good so i'm trying to add a lot of product to my hair so my hair is nice and moisturized and looking good all right i got my moisturizers all in and i think i am ready to get started let me just quickly go over my ends one last time because those are the most damaged of course because i'm still getting rid of that blondish color on the bottom of my hair and that's the driest part because y'all know i had lightened it with a stupid hair lightener a sun bum hair lightener and it damaged my hair and girl i'm not the only one gotta be careful with that crap i'm good i'm just gonna love my natural hair color and girl call it a day and then when summer comes my hair lightens up in the sun i remember my mom and dad being like bro what the heck because they used to take us to this lake and there was this guy 
that worked. I don't even know what he used to do, but it was this old guy who used to sit in this chair near a sign. But you didn't have to pay him or do anything. You could honestly just walk right past him. He would just like greet you to the lake. I don't know. It was this old guy. He always worked there. And he was like, wow, your daughter's really pretty. And my mom and dad are already like, the heck already? That's a weird thing to say. And he was like, do you guys bleach her hair? My mom was like, absolutely not. We do not bleach her hair. Her hair lightens up like her dad's hair in the summertime. Like, why would you ask if they bleach my hair and my dad clearly has blonde hair like wait wh what were you thinking who the freak is bleaching their six-year-old's hair probably like pageant moms but like realistically that is absolutely terrible to do like i really don't like when like people damage their kids hair and then when they're adults their hair is just like ruined whether it be from like putting too much heat on it or putting relaxers like Whatever it may be, like just try to stay away from damaging your kid's hair because I can't even begin to tell you guys, and this is not in any way, shape, or form like shading white women with mixed children, but when I tell you guys, I have had so many mixed friends growing up that used to wish that their hair was as healthy as mine because their mom just got it straightened like every single week and their hair was so damaged. It was honestly like really sad. And now I look back and I'm like, you know, they were doing what they could to take care of their child because they don't know how to like do their hair. It's like a whole shift from doing their hair to biracial hair. But you can either take them to someone that knows how to do their hair or do your own research on how to do their hair because every girl, you know, wants healthy hair. So yeah, like even my hair type from my niece's hair type is completely different and I did not know how to do her hair. But what I did was I sat down and watched videos back to back to back to back to back and I figured out how to do that baby's hair and I did her hair every single day because I refused to put heat or roll in her hair. I just refused to. Okay, girl, but let's get started using this diffuser. So on the instructions on the box, it says to focus on your scalp first so you can dry your roots and then start like scrunching it up to your scalp, which I'm honestly going to have to like go like this and then do it that way because there's no other way I'm really going to feel comfortable doing that. I definitely need to learn how to use this tool, what products to use this tool with, and I need to get like a down pack routine with it. So this is how my hair turned out. It's frizzy. It's not as voluminous as I would like just because it's not all the way dry and I didn't want to keep drying it over and over and over again because it is heat. So I wasn't thinking straight and I didn't put like any um, heat protectant in my hair. I don't know why I wasn't thinking about that. So I used the cold setting on a lot of my hair. But yeah, it looks terrible. It looks absolutely terrible. I hate this, you guys. It did not turn out cute at all. But you know what? My hair is dry, so it worked out. My eyebrows look crazy, but I'm not going to do any eyebrow routine today because, girl, I'm staying in the house and I'm staying comfortable. But yeah, my hair didn't turn out that cute. We tried. We tried. Now I'm going to go ahead and make myself a fruit salad because after that fruit salad I made in my recent vlog, oh my gosh, my family is addicted. We love fruit salad so much. I mean, who doesn't? But like, we love fruit salad. So I'm going to make another big bowl of fruit salad, which is honestly perfect because I don't want to keep like pumping caffeine into my body and I want to edit this video. I want to get started editing this video today. And berries give you natural energy, so it's perfect. Let's go make this fruit salad. So far, I cut up the strawberries, I cut up the pineapple, the apples. I just got done cutting up the kiwi. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that kiwi right now. And I'm leaving them in bigger chunks just because last time, as I was eating it, I figured out that I actually like bigger chunked fruit. So I kept them in bigger chunks and this is a whole pack of kiwi. I had to make sure these kiwis were good this time because last time they were way too mushy. All right. All right, and then the simple part, which is literally just rinsing off these raspberries, throwing them straight in and same goes for the blueberries. 
And I honestly just rinse them off straight in the package because it's kind of like a strainer. So I just do that. And there you go. All right. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. The flavor is so much better if you let it sit for like an hour, but I want fruit salad right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a bowl. But I'm telling you, all the flavors come together when you let it sit in the fridge. Look how beautiful this is, mom. Yeah, that's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I know you're not the biggest fan of blueberries, so I didn't add too no, many. I like them all. Let me okay. Save me some, please. I am, mom. I will this time. Okay. Do you want me to put you some separate in a separate, like, with a cap on it or something? Yeah. Yeah, you can do that for okay. me, please. This is so good. I can't. I'm not playing here. I can't. <laughs> I got that little bit. I said, well, it would be nice so everybody can have something. I came back upstairs and saw that bowl empty. My heart was hurting. I said, well, oh, because I ran up the stairs. I, I said, let me hear you. I said, let me. But I got to make sure everybody else has something to eat. But we were going, said, we were going to, and I, I was telling you, get as much as you want, because I'm telling you, it's going to be gone. I said, let me hear him get it upstairs. So I <laughs> took off and came up the stairs and saw the bowl sitting on the counter with the top. I said, Lord. It was already gone. I said, Lord, have mercy. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to fill up this container for you. You ain't got to fill it up. It's going to be enough for y'all to eat. Now. It is going to be enough. And next time I'm going to put pomegranate. So I got to go to like a good grocery store okay. to find pomegranate. I got to go to a bush or something. Yeah, yeah. My hair is definitely starting to get like a little bit more volume as it air dries. Staying hydrated is a form of self-love. I'm telling you, stay hydrated. But girl, I'm about to sit here and have some relaxation time. I am going to eat my fruit salad and I'm going to look up healing scriptures. So excited to go ahead and get into reading scripture. And isn't it so awesome how far we've come that all we have to do is look up scriptures on this or scriptures about this or these kind of scriptures and you will literally get an entire page full of all different kind of scriptures. I'm about to sit here and read these scriptures girl and get myself encouraged and let me tell you something when you speak those scriptures when you actually read the scriptures out loud it's 10 times more powerful. Okay so I switched it up a bit and I looked up powerful scriptures instead of healing scriptures because right now I'm not really in the need for healing scriptures girl i'm gonna need for some powerful scriptures so it's like whatever you know you need help with just look up scriptures on that scriptures on love scriptures on peace scriptures on faith i love this variety pack of scriptures deuteronomy 31 6 be strong and courageous do not be afraid or terrified because of them for the lord your god goes with you he will never leave you nor forsake you psalm 27 1 the lord is my light and my salvation whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? If the Lord is the stronghold in your life, there's nothing stronger than him. So you're going to be good. Psalm 31, 24, be strong and let your heart take courage. All you who wait for the Lord. Isaiah 41, 10, fear not for I am with you. Be not dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. Oh my gosh, that's so amazing. The fact that we can get help from the almighty one girl we can do anything isaiah 40 31 but they who wait for the lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings like eagles they shall run and not be weary they shall walk and not faint <laughs> mark 10 27 jesus looked at them and said with man it is impossible but not with God, for all things are possible with God. Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Luke 18.27, but he said, the things that are impossible with people are possible with God. 1 Corinthians 15.58, therefore, my beloved brothers, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths so he gonna make your path straight girl psalm 107 1 give thanks to the lord for he is good his love endures forever jeremiah 29 11, for i know the plans i have for you declares the lord plans to prosper you prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future psalm 34 and 8 taste and see that the lord is good Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Cast your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Fear of man will prove to be a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord is kept safe. 
As a mother comforts her child, so I will comfort you, and you will be comforted over Jerusalem. I'm going to leave it off at this, you guys, because this is awesome to leave it off with. John 16, 33. I have told you all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth, you will have many trials and sorrows. But take heart, because Jesus, he says, because I have overcome the world. He has overcome the entire world. That means there's not a problem he can't fix. There's not an illness he can't heal there is absolutely nothing he can't do because he's already overcome the world this is his amen amen you guys i love scripture and i am going to continue to read some more scripture for at least like another 20 minutes spend some time with the lord and then i'm gonna go ahead and hop straight into editing this video but i feel amazing you guys i'm super clean super soft i feel refreshed honestly especially when i finish up reading scripture i'm gonna feel even better i have honestly had an amazing day so far and I'm so happy that you guys came along with me hold on before I head out of here I want to open up this package because I just got a package on my front door and I don't know what it is which is a freaking shame because how do you not know what you're ordering now I know that the other package was super heavy so I know that that one's dog food but like wet dog food but this one I don't know what it is it could be hair combs because I do remember ordering hair combs Oh, I don't want to tell y'all about this. I don't want to tell y'all about this because y'all going to be like, girl, since when you told us not to use it and you sitting up using it. Well, I want to see if these are going to irritate me by just spraying it on my pad. So next menstrual cycle, I want to see how these work for me because Summer's Eve has baby powder gentle spray and I want to try this on my pad. So please don't judge me, but I bought Summer's Eve. I got to smell this. Oh my gosh, that's really baby powder. I thought they was playing around because all the reviews for the baby powder scent, all they were saying was, it smells fresh, it smells fresh. None of them said, like, it actually smells like baby powder. So I was, like, kind of buying this on a whim. I don't even know what that means, but I was just kind of, like, blind buying this. This smells so good, but I'm not going to, like, brag on it because I don't know how it's going to react so hopefully i'm not irritated because i really want to spray this on my pad and i'm gonna give one to jordan i give him the feminine hygiene products i don't want anymore or the ones that have irritated me because he doesn't get irritated from them so if this irritates me then i'll just give them like all to him but i really hope it doesn't because it smells like baby powder you guys like it smells like the good baby powder i've had some gross baby powder scented stuff and i'm like oh this smells like old people like this smells like oh the church basement Ugh. Anyways, you guys, oh my gosh, I thank you guys so much for making it to the end of this video. If you made it to the end of this video without skipping anything, you are freaking awesome. Thank you so much. But even if you did, just thanks for coming out. Thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate you guys. And I don't want to prolong this anymore because I want to get this video up for you guys. And I really hope that you guys were just able to like sit and like chit chat with me because that's kind of how I wanted it to be. Just like spend some time with me. Let's just talk. Let's just vibe. Let's just chill. I didn't want to focus on like content, content. I wanted to really focus on making it like a FaceTime like we could just talk we could just spend time together there are so many people out here you know they don't have friends and things like that and i'm here for y'all so let's just sit we could just talk so if y'all want me to do more videos like this i could do different kind of videos like this we'll see but i wanted to go ahead and bring you guys along with me as i pampered myself and reset thank you guys so much i love you all god bless you all in jesus name love yourself and take care of yourself bye guys